Alright, so it's about 6.40 a.m. on a Saturday morning. And that pretty much only means one thing. I'm about ready to go thrifting. And, uh, you see, all around me is all this white stuff. For, for those from California, that, that's called snow. And, uh, we actually get it here in New Jersey. And, uh, one thing to know about carburetors is they don't like cold, so... I think I'll just shoot one of these real quick while my truck's warming up and uh, just say what's going on. Um, probably the biggest thing is hopefully next week. Now, I love this truck to death. It ain't going anywhere. I love this truck, but it's not going to be my daily driver anymore. Um, I'll be driving another vehicle and uh, that hopefully I'll like as much so uh, that's, that's kind of big is I'm actually stepping out of the 80s when it comes to a vehicle as a daily driver I mean there's no way I can drive this thing no way <laughs> but uh, yeah so that's pretty much the biggest thing going on um, got a lot of computer stuff but uh you know, here's the stair. There's the stairs to my computer shop, where it's all at. And you know, it's kind of a pain to get down there. I, I went down there last night to get something, but uh, actually to get a processor for the last video I shot. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, yeah, I figured I'd shoot one of these real quick on. While the truck's getting warmed up. Ooh. Look what I did last time I drove it. I left the uh, window. I, uh... This truck's 31 years old, and there's some things that are... weird about it. One of which is, uh... The heater controls are all cable, rather than your modern-day electronics. And uh, one thing that happened was, um, actually two things happened. One, the uh, one that goes from the floor to the vents to the, to the uh, windshield, that has two cables in it. And one of them, one of the two cables came off the little rod inside now you got to take half the dash apart to do to fix this because I've already fixed it once and uh, what happened is it's now stuck on dash vent and floor all at the same time and the other thing is the cable for hot to cold slid off the hook and it is set on Hades. <laughs> it is set on the hottest setting you can get. So, um, I gotta roll down the window every now and then <laughs> when I'm driving because it just gets too hot in there. But, uh, got a couple things. I've got something on the order for the Packard Bell that's coming in probably next week. Um, hopefully my memory for the Dell is coming in in the next couple days. Hopefully today. Probably not because it's still in Texas, so that's coming in next week as well. Um, and then I've got other v computers to check out. I just got to be able to get up in the, uh, or get down in the basement. So... I'm going to go ahead and close this video and say there's really not a whole lot going on in my life at the moment. Um, other than the fact I'm actually getting a much newer vehicle. It's not brand new, but it's much newer. And uh, hopefully will be a lot more reliable. Not that this thing's ever let me down really anyway. Um, a lot of the problems I've had were due to the fact that it sat for almost two years before I got it. And then I started putting 80 miles a day on it. And that's, that's not something you want to do to a vehicle. 
so but now that I got a lot of that stuff worked out she's as you hear purring like a kitten but uh I've rambled on for over five minutes now so I'm gonna go ahead and say thank you for watching have a blessed day